morning, everyone. It's uh, 1-6-2020, uh, and uh, I came across an article today that I wanted to share with everyone. Uh, it's from uh, Jeremiah 49, Fulfilled Soon. Uh, the destruction of Aram, behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might. And that's from Jeremiah chapter 49, uh, verses 35 through 39. Uh, another prophecy concerning Iran that possibly precedes the Gog and Magog scenario. In Jeremiah 49, 35 through uh, 39, we are told that Elam will come under the judgment of God for conspiring to launch an attack against Israel in the latter days. Modern day Iran is comprised of ancient Elam, about one tenth of it, and Persia. This prophecy concerning Iran has not yet been fulfilled, but seems to align with Iran's current nuclear uh, aspirations. Uh, Jeremiah predicts that Elam will be struck at the foremost place of its strength. Today, this could infer an attack upon Iran's growing nuclear program. One of Iran's most uh, strategic and vulnerable targets is the uh, Boucher nuclear reactor located in the heart of ancient Elam. Jeremiah also predicts that Aram will suffer the fate of a broken bow. Uh, when your bow is broken, you cannot load the arrows out of your quiver. So that would be, you know, their missile uh, ability to launch missiles and everything in modern times. Jeremiah warns that after the attack, the affected populations are forced to scatter from the area. This could be the result of Iranians' attempt to flee from an isolated nuclear uh, disaster. And I wanted to quickly also include the story that uh, was out today about uh, the oil price surge, in which, you know, we could have probably figured as much. And believe me, if, if anything major breaks out there, uh, the oil prices are going to surge way beyond what they are right now. Uh, crude oil prices topped $70 a barrel as Middle East tensions escalated. Uh, crude oil futures topped $70 a barrel in early oil, uh, trading Monday. That's today amid rising tensions in Iraq and Iran following the killing of a top Iranian military commander in Baghdad. Benchmark uh, Brent crude futures reached uh, $70.72 in Monday sessions before falling back to $69.49. And that was up 1.28%. Uh, and then the other major uh, one announced in the article was West Texas Intermediate Crude for February future was up 1.21% to $69.26 per barrel, a 58 cent increase since Friday and its highest level since last April. Iraq's uh, a parliament, and here's an interesting thing, voted unanimously in a non-binding resolution to expel foreign troops from their country. Now, keep in mind it's non-binding, but there, it was unanimous, so it sent a message to Trump that uh, the Iranian, Iraqi government uh, wants the United States troops out of uh, Iraq. So this is uh, more than than just Iran now. It also is a, a problem. They have a problem with Iraq. But uh, I'm going to do a, a video in the near future that's going to talk about the kingdoms and stuff that would come together during this uh, final, you know, the ten heads and seven horns. And uh, of course, Iraq, Iran, and Syria, those are all part of these uh, this future kingdom that's going to be put together by the um, uh, the Islamic leader, uh, which will also be Islamic leader, which will unite all of those nations around uh, Israel. And then finally, I wanted to quickly talk about, uh, do a personal dream, the personal dream follow-up from the other day. And that day I had the video cut out. I wanted to do some uh, uh, remarks, uh, add some stuff that I had left out of the dream initially. Uh, a little bit of detail, and uh, but the camera cut out, and it does that sometimes, and sometimes it'll 
uh, cut out, you know, real soon, you know, three or four minutes and uh, something, and I'll have to do multiple takes to, to get a, a thing up. Sometimes, you know, as many as three to get one message out, you know. But then, you know, sometimes it might go for uh, 10 to 15 minutes. It's been known to do that, too. So I never know how long this is going to last or if something's going to cut out. And like I say, maybe at the most time, all I got is maybe 15 minutes. And that's why I always got to condense down the stories, and, you know, and, and be quick. And um, so what, what I wanted to say that I hadn't said was, uh, first of all, that this person had uh, uh, grayish colored, uh, whitish colored hair. And I, I gave the age brackets 55 to 70, which is just an estimate because the Lord never told me what the person's age was. Um, I did ask, uh, I also uh, didn't mention that when I was standing in the line and after the manager handed me that check and said something about taxes had to come out and then walked away. And I looked forward in the line, there was quite a few people in the line. Well, then in the final scene of the dream, uh, I'm, I'm suddenly beside the side of the counter and I had uh, got out of the line and walked up there to the side of the counter where she was working. And there was a lot of people and she was waiting on somebody at the time as well. And I wanted to thank her for doing what she did. And as I started to speak to her, she kind of like leaned, you know, looked at me. She's leaned over the counter a little bit towards me. And um, I uh, reached over the counter and gave her a big hug and gave her a kiss on the cheek. And then I said, uh, I said, God bless you. And she had a big uh, smile on her face. And that was where the dream ended. And... Um, since that, you know, because it's been a few years since I had the dream and I knew that the dream was for a time when that was going to come in the future when I was supposed to do ministry full time. I didn't know when. And so I've had plenty enough times from time to time to, to pray about the dream and ask questions. And I did ask the one question uh, about why, you know, that if the person that I saw was uh, financially well to do why were they working in a, a place like sears uh, at a counter and you know working in a job like that and i was told of course well the person didn't need to work it could be that the person was close to retirement age or they might have been beyond retirement age because you can work they will add three percent a year onto your account let's say your full retirement age was 66 but up to the age of 70 all those extra years that you work, uh, that will they will add three percent to your final monthly check if you want to work up to age seventy. Uh, I don't know if they add continue to add anything after seventy. So anyway, it's possible that this person was already at retirement age, but yet they weren't drawn Social Security and they continued to work. And maybe this was even a part time job. But what the Lord said was the person wanted to uh, remain working where they had, especially in that job, because they uh, she came into contact with people of all kinds of, uh, uh, you know, levels of income and uh, uh, careers and stuff like that from all walks of life. And uh, that gave her uh, excellent opportunity to uh, witness and try to win souls for the kingdom. And that's why she did that. She didn't need the money. Um, and uh, uh, the first time I heard anything about this uh, recently was about a month back. And then I got delayed. I'm putting out the, uh, and I was basically told it's time to release the personal dream. Now is the time for 2020 here, you know, get the personal dream out and, uh, and to the public. And then, but I was delayed a few weeks at doing it. And even uh, in the last week because of the spiritual warfare, which is still a little ongoing, or there's a, a new problem now. But um, anyway, um, recently when I was praying about it, even in these days since I did the video and put it out, uh, basically um, what the person would do would be doing was they would be sponsoring uh me to to begin to 
be able to go into ministry full time because whatever money they allotted me, that would allow me to, uh, you know, not have to work the full time job anymore and just be able to work in ministry full time. And uh, I'm uh, I myself am already eligible. It's a, a past the minimum age that I could sign up for uh, Social Security myself, but I'm not at the full retirement age, so I can continue to work. And of course, I could do the, what I just got done telling you, and I could work up to 70 and beyond, or as long as I wanted to, uh, if or if I had to or whatever, I would be able to. So I've been, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, somebody that, you know, because I know some people might look at and say, well, you know, if the, if the person can work, they should work and this, that, and something else. But we're down to we're running out of time, as I'm sure